thought a lot about what I wanted to say in this video. There's the Baseball Hall of Fame, which I love, I follow very closely, and I collect. There's the YouTube Hall of Fame, which I enjoy thoroughly, I follow it very closely, and it's, it's a really cool thing for the community. But really, when you think about those things, all that really matters is God's Hall of Fame, and that's heaven. John 3.16 says, God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, so whoever believeth in him may not perish, but have everlasting life. I can't help you get in the Baseball Hall of Fame. I can't help you get in the YouTube Hall of Fame. But I can help you get into God's Hall of Fame. And I hope to see you all there. So it's really easy. You admit that you're a sinner and that you need Jesus. Believe that he's the only way to heaven. And confess your sins to him and welcome him into your heart. So I hope you take that uh, for what it is worth. And uh, I hope to see you in God's Hall of Fame. Now. Onto the YouTube Hall of Fame, which is why a lot of you have tuned into this video. I hope you're still here. I take this really seriously. I think that the YouTube Hall of Fame is a great honor. I really do. It's a lot of fun uh, for the contest, but I do vote for people that I feel worthy, not just my friends. Now, I say that to say it's natural to vote for your friends. You know, you watch certain channels for a reason because you like them. Of course, you're going to be biased towards them. You're in favor of them. Kind of like Nate being biased towards Barry Bonds. Sorry, Nate. <laughs> In terms of the Hall of Fame. Just using that as an example, right? There may be a writer that, you know, covered Bonds in San Francisco. We'll stick with him. And Bonds was rude to the media. And that guy's never going to vote for Bonds because, you know, he was rude to him, right? Lots of votes are going to be biased. So I try to remove as much of that as I can. And that's why I have some parameters of how I vote for a YouTube Hall of Fame channel. The number one thing for me is you have to have a big enough following to be pretty well known. I mean, if you're a Hall of Famer, you should be well known, right? Uh, so my threshold for that is you got to have a minimum of 500 subscribers. Uh, the next thing, of course, they've had to have been on YouTube for at least a year, per Mike's rules, uh, which all of my nominees do. And then the last thing that I kind of include, last two things really, one's kind of a clause and the other one's a requirement, you have to have something that makes you great. Typically, that is your collection is great. Now, we're not all doctors and lawyers. I understand. I'm not either. Uh, but, you know, if you've collected for a long enough amount of time, you have probably an impressive collection in one way or another. Uh, so I take that in consideration. That's a good way you can get in. Or something else that makes you great. Um, something that makes you stand out, your entertainment, um, your differentiation of like being a must watch because of the type of video you do. I don't want to give that away because I have a couple of those. And then lastly, I call it the community clause. So even if you've got 10,000 followers and you've got a museum quality collection, but you don't participate in the community or like comment back to anybody or anything like that, I'm not going to vote for you. I allude to that to like, uh, you know, Dale Murphy, except for the flip. Murphy was a great person. He's a brave, you know, very, very close numbers. Everybody loves him, but he doesn't have the numbers to get there, right? So that's would be kind of like if someone had a great collection, but they didn't do any of the community stuff, if that makes any sense. Okay, my next part that I like to do and in conjunction with the YouTube Hall of Fame, I do something called Road to the Hall of Fame. So these are guys that I think are on the road to the Hall of Fame. I'm not voting for them yet, but I do believe that they could get there someday. Let's go over those. The first one is Wade Boggs fan, John. He has 370 subscribers at the time of the making of this video. That'll be the case for all these guys. The reason he's on my road to the Hall is because number one, he's been making content for less than a year. Number two, I thought he was going to be all about just Wade Boggs. And I'll be honest, if that's all his channel was about, I wouldn't be interested in watching it because I don't want to hear about the chicken man over and over and over again. But it's not just that. John does some cool things for the community. He collects other things. He likes Hall of Famers. And he's a well-spoken, well-put-together channel. So I, I think he's bound for the Hall someday. Next, one of my near misses, Picker Jim S., 
I'm new to his channel in the past like six months or so, but I love his content. Hall of Fame collector, does vintage. He has 690 subscribers. He was one of my closest misses. Uh, just not enough room this year, Picker Jim. But if some of these guys get in, I have a good feeling you'll be on my ballot in the future. Next, Rhino Martin. I've talked about Rhino Martin's channel before. He has 271 subscribers. I'm not voting for him because he hasn't reached that 500 sub level to really have the exposure. And John's one of my best friends. I talk to him all the time via YouTube. He has an autographed baseball collection that is the best on YouTube bar none, but he doesn't make a ton of content. And like I said, he doesn't have that big of a following yet. But I have faith in you, John, that if you do that, you'll get there, brother. Next, Thank Blue 77 Jesse. He has 278 subs. Uh, he is a Dodgers collector. He is the, the guru of vintage glove collecting here on YouTube. He does bobbleheads. He does autographed baseballs. A lot of stuff that I like. Again, I'm biased in that way, but his exposure level of 500 or plus, he doesn't meet that for me. So, sorry, Jesse. I think you're on the road to the hall, though, brother. I really like your stuff. Ground Chuck. 400 subs. He does vintage sets. He does Hall of Fame autographs. He does the Mariners. He does the Seahawks. He does a few bobbleheads in the background. He's an Andre Dawson super collector. He's got a wide range of things. I get along with Kyle great too. I know him personally. Of course I'm biased in liking his channel, but still not voting for him for the YouTube Hall of Fame because he doesn't quite have that exposure yet. I'm pulling for you. I'll give you this shout out. I want you to get there, but not voting for Kyle yet. This next channel was probably the toughest one for me to leave off and note vote for this year, and I'll explain why. He has 814 subscribers, vintage set collector, binder collection, Hall of Fame autographs, another Dodgers fan, very entertaining content, does some really cool editing to his videos, and that's none other than G's Mikey. And I'm not voting for Mikey only for one reason and one reason only. He has stated that he's going on a short hiatus away from cards. And I get it, man. I understand. Everybody can't do this all the time. I'm not blaming you for that at all. But when it was so tough to get 10 names, I couldn't in good conscience vote for when you, when you may be stepping away. Uh, I hope you come back and you're stronger than ever and you're back to making regular content. And I can pretty much guarantee that if you do that, I'm going to vote for you next year. You'll get my vote. Uh, I love your channel. You know that. We talk a lot. Uh, but I had to leave you off my ballot of 10 because of that one fact. All right. So those are my Road to the Hall channels. Next, I've got two channels that dropped off my ballot from last year. And I want to review those first. The first one. And for these going forward, I'll have how many votes they received last year in the YouTube Hall of Fame balloting via Mike's video. The first one had 27 votes last year. For context, the lowest person that got in last year of the 10 had 29 votes. So I'm kind of using that as an early bar since there's a small sample size, only a few years, of about how many votes you're gonna have to get to have a chance to get in, right? This channel is very close and it's a league of their own, Caitlin. I loved her content. I loved her channel. Very interesting. She does a great job, but she's essentially stopped making videos. She's made like two in the past year, and I don't I don't claim to know what's, what's going on in her life. I hope she comes back. It's just that if you're not an active part of the community at the time of this ballot, I can't in good conscience vote for you. That's just the way I feel about it. Kaylin, we miss you. Hope you come back soon. This next channel got 12 votes last year. And this is another person I've talked to a lot. His name's Mark. Great guy, amazing collection, lots of good thoughts on the hobby itself. But it's Foo3112, and I'm not voting for him to back up some of the other things that I say uh, that are my qualifications. Uh, he's got the subscribers. He's got the following. He doesn't make that much content, uh, and I, don't, I just don't see him around a lot. Mark. Join in, man. I want to vote for you for the YouTube Hall of Fame. And I want to see more of your videos. So please make more content so I can put you back on my ballot in the future. All right. Now, 
for my actual ballot. Mike, if you've made it this far to 10 minutes, I'm sorry, I am taking so long. We'll go through the ballot now. I've got two channels that are returning from my previous ballots. We will go over them first. The first has 622 subscribers. They have now the second best Hall of Fame autograph collection on YouTube. Frank does, sorry, Bill. And that's Bill, the Hall of Fame collector. He got 28 votes last year. He just missed getting in. And Bill, you know, I love you, man. That's all I got to say about your channel. Get in this year, please. Next up, this channel has 1.07 thousand subscribers. He got 12 votes last year. And that's Dave's Midlife Card Crisis. He's been around the YouTube community for a long time. Goes to the National every year. Hall of Fame autographs, football autographs, wide range of players he collects in New York. He's a good dude. He's been in the community for a long time. Obviously, it shows from the subscriber level. And he's still active. Got to vote for Dave. Now, the other eight are all new channels. I've never voted for them before. The first up, he had zero votes last year. And that is because I don't think he was eligible yet. I talked a little bit earlier about having maybe not necessarily a great collection, but a great channel for a different reason. He has a pretty good collection, but he has an amazing channel because of what he does. He has 863 subscribers, and that's Scott at Reindeer Studios. If you haven't watched Scott's channel of where he does sketches of athletes and of actors and the fun little games he does and the TTM autographs to, to baseball players, it's so different, it's so entertaining, it's so unique. He's a no-brainer for me. Next, this guy got three votes last year. He has 644 subscribers. Big Jackie Robinson collector, Satchel Page, vintage, 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 vintage. Clearly, that's why I like him. That's George at Diamond Yard Sports Cards. You get my vote this year, brother. Next up, another channel that was pretty close last year, getting 22 votes. Everybody knows who he is by what he collects. That's Bowman 53. He has 579 subscribers. He completed his 53 Bowman set, but now he's doing a lot of various vintage. He also does autographed baseballs, which I also enjoy. So, Alex, you are definitely on my ballot. Hope you get in, man. Next up, this channel got one vote last year, and he'll get at least one more if the other person votes for him again, because he's new to my ballot. Uh, that's Ryan at Hot Corner Collection, 729 subscribers. Big Cubs fan, autograph collector of Ryan Sandberg, and all manner of Hall of Famers, Braves. So I enjoy watching that. But he, he's a cool guy. He's starting to do vintage now, too. So he's got a wide range of things as well. So you don't have to like just one thing to like his channel. Someone that received 15 votes last year and will gain a vote in me this year has 612 subscribers. And he barely shows any of his collection, but is still deserving of being a Hall of Famer. And that's Stove Collector Investor, whatever name that he's going by now. <laughs> because he does something unique for our community. He's very entertaining and it's hobby related. You know, he's still a sports card channel. Uh, and I think his exposure has just grown and grown over the last couple of years. And I think he's deserving of being in the Hall of Fame. Next up, this guy got six votes last year. Uh, you'll gain one from me. He has 581 subscribers, and that's Andy at Nostalgic About Baseball. He's doing a 1962 Topps uh, set build. He collects the Braves. Again, showing my bias that I like the Braves, so, you know, that drew me to his channel. But he collects other vintage as well. Does little autographs. He's done some flip videos where he's been buying stuff and reselling. Uh, does a lot of graded cards, which I don't like. Boo! But that's okay. I'm still going to vote for him for the Hall of Fame. Next up, another guy that has been around for a long time. Both these last two guys have been. He's received eight votes. Uh, he's a type collector for Hall of Fame playing days cards as the majority of his collection. Uh, he also does Hall of Fame autographs. Uh, but Dustin Bellinger has 533 subscribers, and I don't think he gets enough recognition. Uh, he just basically shows what he's got. And that, that's all there is to his videos. But he's got a really good collection. He's been in the community for a long time. And I think he's fairly well known. I'm voting for you, Dustin. And last, this person received nine votes last year. 
and I looked it up. He's got 80 different Hall of Fame autographs plugged for the YouTube Hall of Fame uh, autograph registry that I run. Uh, he has 80. He's got a good collection of player PCs of Nomar, Raul Mondesi, Mo Vaughn. He's been in the community for a long, long, long time. 859 subs, and that's Jason with Mr. Fisher Bike. So I'll be voting for you, Jason. So run through it one, one last time. My 10 votes are Bill the Hall of Fame Collector, Dave's Midlife Card Crisis, Reindeer Studios, Diamond Yard Sports Cards, Bowman 53, Hot Corner Collection, Stove Collector, Nostalgic About Baseball, Dustin Bellinger, and Mr. Fisher Bike. Until next time, guys, keep collecting. In honor of Mike, thanks for all you do, and God bless.